Weasel News. What's up, guys? Officer, first 30 minutes here. Today, we are doing another parking enforcement episode, but this time, we are in the San Andreas emergency towing truck. We're going to be patrolling around the city area looking for... Oh my gosh, there's a little accident right in front of me. Um, we're going to be looking for parking violations, and we're going to be running the plate of the car, and if the car comes back with three or more citations we're gonna go ahead and tow that car to an impound lot and um, if not we'll just issue a parking citation so that's why we're in the truck today so we can tow off cars if we need to it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of people wanted to see a towing episode involving this awesome tow guardian or I should say towing version of the guardian comes equipped with um, caution lights as well so it's a pretty pretty cool model we'll just patrol around the city and we'll stop and make sure everyone's parking accordingly so join me on today's patrol all right looks like we got a 2015 Dodge Charger parked up against a red curb we'll go ahead and pull over right in front of it get out and run the play check to see what if anything we pull up don't hit me don't hit me this tow truck is massive all right let's run the play check on this Dodge Charger play check <laughs> That's one way to point check right there. So point is going to be 8-1 Lincoln X-Ray Sam 607. Let's see what dispatch has to say. Felony warrant for registered owner. Two citations. Well, today we're just focusing on parking infractions. So what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and issue a parking ticket right here but we will also notify LSPD that we have found a potentially wanted vehicle. Uh, looks like the owner might have a felony out on them and they can take the appropriate action. But today we are just doing parking enforcement. So I don't really care if it's a wanted vehicle. Okay, we're on Heritage Way. Appropriate people have been notified and we are going to continue our parking enforcement patrol. All right, we got a few cars right here parked on a red curb. This one in particular right behind me, he's actually pulled up on the curb. So we're gonna try to get in here and not block traffic. Turn on our caution lights, let people know we're out of our car and uh, not to hit me preferably. Let's see what's going on here. So this car is definitely getting a parking citation for being all up on the curb like that in conjunction with a red curb, which is meant for emergency services. Let's go ahead and put get this uh, plate checked. He also has a broken mirror. Not a broken mirror, broken windshield on the back. Broken window, that's what I'm trying to say. So point is 6-5 X-Ray Adam, Nancy, 9 or 5-6. See if we come back with more than three citations. We got three citations. So we're going to get this car towed away. Uh, I'm curious though, what, let's see what this BMW 7 Series has as far as citations. Because they are also parked on a red curb. If, uh, if it comes down to whoever has more citations, I'll take the car with the most citations and leave the other car just with a, uh, an additional parking citation. So it's 2-5, David, William. 2-5, David, William, John, 5, John. One, three, three citations. They both have three citations. Because this guy's parked down the curb, I'm going to give... I'm going to go ahead and tow his because we, we can just do one. So let's issue this guy a citation. 
We're in Pillbox Hill right now on Integrity Way for the Oracle, aka BMW 7 Series. It's going to get a citation today. We You're lucky day. This other car, he is getting towed after I and issue, issue him another citation. Okay, and then let's issue the citation to this car and then we'll go ahead and tow it. This is a fugitive. Called in a dispatch, notify them that we're towing it. We will tow it to the nearest police impound on the map. I've yet to see what that actually is. Okay, let's get back in the, the car. Go ahead, hook it up. All we need to do is back up to the car and lower the hook. And it should attach. Okay, we're hooked. Kind of hooked on the corner. We're going to raise it up as high as we can go. And proceed to tow. Only issue is people tend to not care that I'm towing a car and they will run into it like it's not there so we need to be careful of that issue let's see where the closest police impound is gonna be looks like up here is probably gonna be our best bet we'll just leave it in the parking lot there then the register owner they can come and pay the citation and get it out i had a ton of suggestions to do this uh towing video and it's, it's actually pretty fun just towing all these cars you cannot back up with this towing configuration because the back of your truck will slam into their car. So it's just another thing to note if you use this towing guardian for your towing needs. Okay, 0.28 miles away. We're going to take a right here. There we go. Perfect. Sure, got a clear way. Doing good here, take a left. Once it goes green, this is where I run into issues. I've actually done this entire episode one time already. I recorded it, I thought it was an awesome episode and then the file was corrupted so I was unable to use it. But you know, that happens sometimes and you just gotta re redo it, do another one. All right. So we're taking a right here. Police department should be here. All the uh, substations have towing impounds, so it won't be an issue. We're gonna cut through right here, actually. Let's pull into the parking lot. Should be around here. Maybe it's around the on the other side. If not, we're just gonna leave it on the street. Let's see what's back here. Oh, we got a red light. Looks like it. Uh, there's a little sub road that cuts around. We can leave it there if necessary. The towing hitch, it doesn't pull the car that high off the ground. It did in this case, but in the last episode I used it, uh, <laughs> I was towing this one car that was way way lowered than uh, its standard height and it was it was almost scratching the ground even though I had it hooked up okay yeah we're just gonna leave it back here we can go in here I think no all right this is gonna be the impound uh, somebody from the police department will pull it in for us we'll just let them know it's out here so all we gotta do is lower it detach raise our hook back up and we were continue our towing parking enforcement patrol all right we've got it we've got a car here blocking access to a fire hydrant we're gonna go ahead and tow it away but first I will issue the citation and run the plate check I'm just curious um, 
if it pulls up anything. This card's going to be a little more difficult to tow because uh, the tight spot it's in. So let's get a plate check on this vehicle. It's a Jackal 2-3. Dude, I'm going blank. Boy. Young. Robert. 385. Wow, that was so slow. Robert, three, eight, five, speed racing. Three citations, anyway. We got people running. Okay, so let's go ahead and issue the citation here. We're on Bay City Avenue, blocking a fire hydrant. In the last parking enforcement video, Everyone was telling me go ahead and tow cars that are blocking the fire hydrant. So that's what I'm gonna do. This car is blocking the fire hydrant. Sounds like a gunfight's going on. Not too sure about that. I'm just here to tow cars. So let's try to tow this car. This is going to be fun. Need to get into that spot as best we can. We're probably going to have to go up on the curb just to get that angle cut. Wow, this is tight. And we don't have to line it up perfectly. We can kind of tow it um, From an angle if we need to let's just go straight back see if that's good enough yep we are attached we are with it let's go ahead bring it to the closest impound which is actually pretty close it, it happens to be just right here we're gonna flip around the block i believe that would be the quickest way over there so yeah we definitely don't want cars blocking the fire hydrants need firefighters they need access to those fire hydrants for water supply in case there is a fire so it's essential that we tow these cars that are blocking these fire hydrants and it's a pretty hefty fine here you had three unpaid citations this is going to be a citation for blocking the fire hydrant in addition to getting your car out of the police impound is going to cost even more money Turn right here quickly, quickly. All right, perfect. Okay, 0.28 miles away. This tow truck is just awesome. And last episode, I did test it, and you are able to um, tow cars from the back too. So if we need to hook a car from behind, that is an option we have. So 0.24 miles, we're gonna take a right at the stop sign and get it to the impound drop it off and yeah towing is actually pretty fun in gta 5 i'm not gonna lie and look this these cars just try to go around me constantly i don't know what the deal is this tow truck is by d block i think 1989 is his name if you would like to download it link is in the description as always check it out he's a great modder I think this tow truck came out so good. There's two different versions. There's a all white version that I'm using uh, right now. And then there's a black and white version. Looks more police like. Awesome. And I've also done a video with the police version of the Guardian as well. And that thing is sweet. I would hate to see somebody pulling me over in that thing. It's like a tank. It's so big. Okay, impound is right up here. We're gonna take a right. Oh, don't crash into my car, thank you. So there's the police department. Yeah, I kinda rolled through that right. And we're gonna take a left here. Perfect. So the impound part of this substation is down here. Let's go as slowly as we can. We'll just park it somewhere. Like I said, you can't really back cars in into spots given this towing configuration, so we'll just swing it around. Here and one of these office and we'll put it in one of these handicap spots. One of these officers will go ahead and 
with all the appropriate paperwork. So I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. Go ahead, drop it. It has been released. All right, not, not too bad. And let's go ahead and continue our parking enforcement patrol. All right, looks like we got a car parked against a no parking sign. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sign, make sure it meets this qualification. So the sign says no parking anytime and it's pointing to this whole little piece of curb right here. And then we've got a jackal down here. Let's go ahead and run the plate, see how many citations we got. If it's less than three, he's just gonna get a citation. If it's more than three, he is getting towed away today. It's a Jackal 84 Mary Frank Union 112. There we go. I'm getting there with this phonetic alphabet. It's taking a little bit of time. Sometimes I just go have a brain for it. Cassandra Smith, no citations or anything. So we're just gonna issue one single parking citation for her today for parking against a no parking sign. Not enough to warrant a tow, fortunately for her. On Magellan Avenue. We have an illegally parked vehicle in uh, Del Perro Beach. Target vehicle license plate, uh, eight, four, Mary, Frank, Union, one, one, two, all right well that's going to conclude my parking enforcement towing video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like lets me know that you guys enjoy the video and want to see more as always leave you leave me your suggestions for future videos and i will see you guys on the next patrol